And now, marine weather around Alaska. Thank you for joining us today on the marine portion of your broadcast. I'm meteorologist Emily Niebuhr. Let's start by taking a look at your sea ice conditions across the northern part of the state. Again, white indicates concentration of greater than 80%. Again, it doesn't in indicate how thick the ice is, just that there is ice present. Uh, le the light blue color is less than 80% concentration. And the dark blue indicates ice-free waters. So we continue to see erosion along the North Arctic coast. Kaktova continues to become more and more um, ice-free. And in Prudhoe Bay, we're starting to see some erosion of that sea ice that's uh, greater than 80% concentration. Let's look at our weather map so we can understand how conditions might be impacting marine environments in the next few days. We do have this low pressure system out near Shemia. We have a, a stubborn high ridge in place across the central portion of the Bering. We have a low pressure system that's drifting across the Gulf of Alaska with a uh, dissipating front associated with it. And then we have an interior trough uh, causing thunderstorms. For Sunday's weather, you can see that low pressure system is fairly stagnant with its front. That ridge is being fairly persistent and blocking it from coming northward or eastward. Then meanwhile, the, the ridge continues to build in and cross much of the, Arc the, the west coast of the Bering Sea. Excuse me. And meanwhile, this low pressure system continues to drift around the Gulf of Alaska. For Monday's weather, a new low pressure system dives in towards Shemia at 999 millibars. We have high pressure in place across the western coast of Alaska still of that stubborn ridge in place. And that low in the Gulf of Alaska continues to drift around with a, a trough in the interior as well. And high pressure in place across the North Arctic coast. Let's take a look at your conditions for the panhandle. As you can tell, we have uh, on Sunday, we're expecting uh, waves about four to five feet along much of the coast, winds of about 10 to 15 knots. In interior portions, we're expecting uh, two foot waves near Ketchikan, uh, winds up to about 10 knots and uh, five knots near Pe uh, Petersburg. So again, generally sheltered and in, in cross much of the interior panhandle. Monday, the wind increases at low, starts to nudge a little bit closer, uh, and pressure gradients increase. We're starting to see uh, winds of about to 20 knots near Skagway, waves three to four feet across much of uh, inner portions of the panhandle. And of course, it can be uh, enhanced in areas of uh, steep terrain. We also have up to seven foot waves right outside the panhandle with winds 20 20 to 25 knots. So be cautious if you're as you go into the Gulf to have rapidly changing conditions. Looking at your Sunday marine forecast for the North Gulf of Alaska coast, uh, again, we're still seeing this channeling occurring between the Kenai Peninsula and Kodiak Island. So our greatest winds and waves are going to be about five feet and winds about 25 knots. And again, that's a stark contrast from north of Homer. So again, if you're coming out of Homer, be cautious uh, of rapidly changing wind and wave conditions. But rest of Quick Inlet, one to two foot waves, uh, winds about 10 knots. So going along the Arctic coast, generally wind and waves of uh, uh, three to four feet, unless of course you're near Kodiak Island and uh, generally uh, uh, sheltered in Prince William sound. For Monday, uh, we're starting to see a diminishing um, effect between Kodiak and Kenai Peninsula. So expect waves about two to three feet and winds of about 10 knots. Generally, uh, waves will be about three feet throughout much Cook Inlet and of a southerly flow. Prince William Sound remains fairly sheltered, about two foot waves, 10 knot winds. And then along the North uh, Gulf Coast, we're looking at waves of about two to three feet. For your Sunday along the Alaska Peninsula, we're looking generally at uh, waves of two to three feet uh, and up to four feet in Bristol Bay, but generally uh, winds of uh, 15 knots from the west to northwest uh, with a little bit of enhancement through channel terrain near Kodiak Island of maybe about 20 knots and waves about three feet. Monday, we see can, uh, a slight increase in wind due to increasing pressure gradient in the area. And we're seeing waves about four to five feet, uh, three feet near False Pass. But uh, waves generally increasing from the west of about 20 knots across the region. As we go tr even further west, we see uh, waves of four to six feet south of the Aleutian Islands. And waves generally two to five feet north of the Aleutian Islands. 
with uh, generally a southwesterly flow of about 20 knots across the western Aleutians, 15 knots in the central and eastern Aleutians, or excuse me, central Aleutians, and 20 to 25 as you approach the eastern Aleutians. By Monday, we start to see that low pressure system move again towards the western Aleutian Islands. So near Shemya, winds up to about 30 knots, waves up to seven feet in those areas. As you move towards away from the, the frontal system, you still see some strong uh, waves about se seven feet near Atka, six feet south of Atka. Finally, as you approach the eastern Aleutians, we're looking at waves about uh, three to five feet with uh, winds of about 10 to 20 knots. For your Bristol Bay area, we're, uh, for the Pribilofs, we're looking at waves of about 5 feet, winds 20 knots. To go further north, closer to that system, you could be seeing waves up to 9 feet as you move away into the western, bearing away from Bristol Bay. Meanwhile, it's a little more sheltered in Bristol Bay. We're looking at waves about 2 feet, winds 15 knots. To go up towards Macoria, uh, waves 3 feet, uh, winds 15 knots. As you go towards Nome, 15 knots with waves up to 3 feet. For the Privlovs on Monday, uh, we're looking at uh, uh, waves of about two feet. However, if you uh, go further west, again, watch out for waves to rapidly increase. And even as we go outside of Macoriac, we're looking at some seven foot waves and winds up to 30 knots and uh, 20 knots and four foot waves as we go up to Hooper Bay, still about 10 knots and three feet in uh, near Nome. But again, increasing winds and waves uh, through Bristol Bay, we're looking at four to five feet winds of about 20 knots for your Monday. Finally, let's look at your Sunday forecast along the North Arctic coast. Uh, winds about 10 knots, waves up to three to four feet near Gamble and Savunia. We're also looking at uh, through much of the Chukchi West Coast, uh, winds of about 10 knots, waves three feet. And in ice-free waters along the north, expect waves two to three feet, winds ranging from 10 to 15 knots. We push towards your Monday. Okay, we're expecting with that high in place, winds and waves will be fairly calm across Prudhoe Bay, Kaktove, waves two feet, winds about 10 knots. To go further east though, the pressure gradient develops and we're looking at uh, waves up to about eight feet uh, off of Point Hope and six feet near Shishmaref, uh, near uh, five feet off of Gamble's coast. And uh, winds 10, 10 knots, but as you go further north, up to 25 knots in unsheltered areas.